During our Farm Basics time today, we want to talk about the two different types of soybeans that are found in the United States, indeterminate and determinate. When we look at the difference between indeterminate beans and determinate beans, the big thing is with determinate beans, they will do all their vegetative growth first, then they will begin to flower. With indeterminate soybeans, they will do vegetative growth until the day length begins to shorten. So once we get past that longest day of the year and we move into the end of June, first part of July, that triggers indeterminate soybeans to begin flowering. But the whole thing is with the indeterminate soybeans, once they start flowering, they can continue with the vegetative stages. It is not that way with the determinate soybeans. So you're probably saying, okay, so why do I care about this? Why does a farmer care about this? Well, what it really amounts to is in the Southern United States, those people down there can raise crop just about any time of year. And maybe they want to have those beans finish before hurricane season at the end of August. Well, normally that's not going to work out with the indeterminate soybeans because they're not even going to start reproduction and, and any of the reproductive stages until a week or two after the day length begins to shorten, which is June 21st. So in other words, it's really the 4th of July approximately before you start seeing any flowers. And then it's a month after that or so before you start seeing any pods. So are those beans really going to finish by the end of August? Probably not a chance. So there are a number of different reasons why a farmer might want determinate or indeterminate, but for the most part, it's all the earlier soybeans. All the soybeans raised in the northern part of the United States are the indeterminate ones. Where we have a shorter growing season, then sometimes we end up with delayed planting. Like this year, there are a lot of farmers, they weren't able to plant till June. Okay, well, fall is coming. There's not a lot of time. The plant senses, it starts growing, but then it senses, ooh, day length is getting shorter. I better hustle it up here, start the reproductive stages, but still at the same time, grow vegetative stages. So for farmers, when they're picking soybean seed, they'll certainly look at determinate varieties or indeterminate varieties, depending on where they're at in the country. If they're about right down the middle of the country, that's kind of the line, uh, north and south where farmers will start choosing. Maybe it's towards the southern end of Missouri, for example, where guys start planting group four soybeans. And once you get up over into the fours, uh, okay, it's, it's gonna start moving into some different germplasm. And once you get up into the fives, it, it's pretty much all determinate varieties. So in the fours, there may be some that are determinate and some that are not. Uh, once you're down into the twos, threes, ones, earlier maturing beans that we'd plant in the north, for sure, those are gonna be indeterminate varieties. So the cutoff line, for most farmers, they say, well, if it's a five, I know it's gonna be a determinate. If it's a four, it's probably an indeterminate bean. Well, for our Weed of the Week, there's no discussion about determinate or indeterminate. There's only a discussion about how are we going to control it? We'll talk about it later in the show.